Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Haiku Friday, February 15th, 2019, the day after Valentine's Day. I hope you all had a lovely Valentine's Day. Sarah and I really did. We had a really good time. She had work. I didn't have to work. We both weren't going to get each other presents till later. And then we both fooled each other by getting each other presents. <laughs> we both tried to get the upper hand on each other in some sort of reverse gift of the Magi type of thing. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't a reverse one. Sideways gift of the Magi. Um, I actually have a, quite a few haikus for you this morning. So what say we get to it? Okay. All right. Our first haiku is from Amy. And Amy is plugging a show in her haiku, which um, if you're in the Sandpoint area, I think it's tonight and tomorrow night. I'll put the details on there. Um, part of the Winter Festival, and it should be pretty fun to do. It's called Drinking Habits. And of course, habits, there's nuns. There's, there's nuns involved, as always. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lots of messages there. I see Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Yes, I am live. I'm live and alive, Jenny. Both. All right. Here we go. Here's the first one from Amy. Now, I took, before I start, I took some liberties because it wasn't 575, but I massaged a little bit and made it 575. So, Amy, forgive me um, for doing that, but I think it's, I think it's still good. Tender grapes squished, picked by holy hand. Come see. Drinking habits. Ha! All right. That's from Amy. And Amy, I'll put a plug in there. Uh, I hope I hope you break a leg, which you could do, actually, with the weather in, in Sandpoint, I bet. All right. Here's one from Don. Let's make a wall deal. Mexico will pay or not. You and I owe now. That's my Donald Trump impersonation. Let's make a wall deal. Mexico will pay or not. You and I owe now. That's my Don. That's my Donald Trump. It's not very. It's not very complimentary. I'm sorry. Okay. So thank you, Don. What you know? What here's the thing about the wall thing. If he does declare a state of emergency and pushes it through, all we have to do, and it's going to be hard because we don't have democracy in the United States. We have to overcome a minority which controls us. But if we can do that, then we could have declare a state of emergency, have universal health care. We could have uh, gun control, all sorts of things. So Donald, bring it on. I hope you win your Supreme Court case for your little section of wall, and then we'll see what we do with that once we establish that. So, thanks. Such a brilliant tactician. <laughs> okay. That was from Don, which got me on a, a little tirade. All right, here's one from Rico-san. Rico-san, is your tan fading? I bet it is. I bet it is. Here we go. This is Rico-san. Always gives us ones to think about. Which, and then this one... I believe it was lovely. What's the difference between crying and singing when you live today? Boy, you can read that a lot of different ways. A lot of different ways. Thanks, Rico Son. Here's a couple from our buddy Steen. One more red sedan spinning round atop the ice. Wheel of destruction. Thanks, Dean. And it is. And it looks like we're going to be in for more of that today. Um, and here's the second one from Steen. Still in a stone, snow motif. More than expected, yet far less than fantasized another snow day. Now, I have far S. I don't know if I dropped that. Maybe I read that wrong. Yet far S than fantasized. I think 
That could work either way. It could be S as in snow. It could have been less with a, with a typo. Um, I read far less than fantasize because I think it's a great, great one with any, without any um, made up words. I don't know. But Steen, that was lovely. I hope you get more snow days. You deserve them. You need a break, Steen, sir. Take a break. All right, here we go. Here's one from Sarah Lynn, who's been a stalwart haikuer. I think she's going to join our haiku panel of regulars soon. Sarah Lynn writes, Iced pine lies beneath. Rebirth sings of life once lost. Spring buds die once more. That was really nice. Thanks, Sarah Lynn. Appreciate it. Oh, here's one for me. Housekeeping finds you. Trashed van with flame heat proclaims, Your fire could kill you! That's for me. All right. Do not, if you have a, if you're living in a van watching this right now, you may want to think twice about having a having a fire inside your van to warm yourself. It just, I don't know. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I just don't think it seems like a good idea. Okay. Warming shelters are open for people who do need there, there's a couple that are open 24 hours, and there's are of course there's a bunch of them that open I think at seven o'clock or nine o'clock, but uh, no reason to be cold. People get in those shelters. <sighs> All right, everybody, and it's easy for me to say because I'm sitting here really warm drinking my tea, and I realize that. Love you all. Thanks for tuning into Haiku Friday. Uh, send me your haikus. And I will, I will read them. I'll even, I'll even read them wrong, uh, and I'll even make up stuff for your haiku. I'll change stuff around, um, you know. So, yes, send me your precious cargo, your teeming masses of words, yearning to be read on Haiku Friday. All right, thanks everybody. I will see you later. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye bye.